Good afternoon, happy people. Praise the Lord, for we have the Bible, God's own word. So what am I talking about today? I'm talking about, um, basically, it's God's day. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 1, going probably on the, all the way down to around verse 11 or so. It says this, Beloved, I now write to you this second epistle, in both of which I stir up your pure minds by the way of reminder that you may be mindful of words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. And of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts and saying, where is this promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. I'm going to jump all the way down to verse eight, where it says, but beloved, do not forget this one thing. That with the Lord one day is a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. And then jump down to verse 10, it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. And if anybody is saying that uh, God is, is not doing certain things or certain things aren't happening for whatever reason, because they want to doubt that certain things are happening, look around, look around you and you will see all oh, the sunshine, the sky so blue. It's not so blue nowadays. And there's a reason why it's not so blue. Some areas, there might be blue skies. But when God puts his foot down, when he decides that this is what's going to be happening, which he decided before the beginning of time, his foot is down and you may question it all you want. You may uh, try to theorize. You may try to research. You may try to uh, philosophize, philosophize. Is that, the, is that the word? Come up with philosophies then. Uh, so, so why this is happening. And scientists may even decide that, well, the reason why this is going on is because of so-and-so and because of ridiculous politicians or because of rulers who are not doing what they're supposed to be doing or uh, because people are selfish. And all of the things I'm saying are biblical things. All of the things that I'm telling you are things that uh, the Bible said. So when you think that the Bible is contrary to modern day life, it is impossible for the Bible to be contrary to modern day life when what is said in the Bible is occurring today. Why do we question what God says about his word when the word proves itself over and over and over? Hey, Fiona, thank you for logging on and watching. And a couple other guys are watching too. Thank you. Uh, so listen to this. As Christians, we may uh, be, be annoyed at a number of the things, why can't people see? Why can't people figure out? How can a carnal mind see the spiritual things? Uh, why can't people understand? Can they not realize the difference between this and that? Like I said, a carnal mind cannot understand the things of the spirit. And you know what? When we try to force the carnal mind to understand, understand the spiritual, that is when we ourselves even run into problems, when we really should actually just help the carnal mind to walk into the door of the spiritual. And when we help the carnal mind walk into that door and be saved through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, they will be in a better position to understand the things of the spiritual. You know, uh, who is it that has a... Uh, Donna Lawrence of the Tri-City Singers. Um, we are spiritual beings in this earthly space. So stop trying to, to, to relish and... and, 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 and and harness the, 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 the earthly things in your spiritual system when in truth and in fact your spiritual system can't digest it because they're not spiritual things. The Bible speaks of spiritual things. So let us digest those spiritual things and regurgitate them for others to understand, for them to be able to then realize where we're coming from by opening the door of the spiritual for them to walk in so that they will understand the difference between the spiritual and the carnal. The things that we see today, the things that we are, are, are that are, we are surrounded, our environment that, that seems to be engulfed in, in evil. It is not some, some, some medieval story of, of yester, yester Lorne or, or, or whatever. It is a, 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 a truth that was foretold and we need to help people to understand. Don't worry. Don't fear. This is what's going on. But God has it all in control. And we know what the end is going to be like. It's not, it may not happen tomorrow. He said he's going to come like a thief in the night. And he's shown us so many different signs so that when the thief does come, we're not going to panic and say, oh my goodness, what do I do now? You know those movies? <laughs> 
well, 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 um, well, well, no, the Bible tells us exactly what we are supposed to do. So let us focus on doing what we are supposed to do, serving Christ and making sure that others see the door and are able to open the door as well and walk right into it instead of, you know, you know, shine, beating around the bush with people and, and, and trying to tolerate this and, 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 and all this sort of stuff. Come on, hogwash. Let's, let's deal with what is. There's the spiritual and there's the carnal. And the fight is real. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. Things that we ourselves cannot even fathom. We are fighting, but God himself is fighting on our behalf. So when we think about all that is surrounding us and, and we, we see the fire and the brimstone falling and we're trying to figure out why is fire and brimstone falling in this area. There's nothing wrong in this area because we are not wrestling flesh and blood. Principalities, the spiritual wickedness, we have to gird our loins, we have to put on breastplate, we have to put on our helmet, we have to walk with our sword, we have to deal with these things on a regular basis so that when the thief comes in the night, we will recognize the thief, although it is sudden. We're not going to be in panic mode. We're not going to be like, whoa, 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 what do we do? What do we do? Okay, we will know exactly what we need to do. So, guys, come on. Let's, let's, let's put on our breastplate. Let's, let's gird our loins. Let us recognize what is going on around us. And I have one last request for you guys before I go. Take care of yourself and take care of each other and read the word. Please read the word. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> Thank you for watching.